Hey, what's up? Uh, it's my third one doing these. Uh, my last one was a lot, was a tad long. And I don't want these damn things to be like 10 and 12 minutes long. Um, I want to make a reference to Rocky III. Uh, for anyone that has seen it, know what I'm talking about when I talk about hunger. Uh, Rocky lost his hunger after winning the title and then winning so many matches. And the next thing you know, somebody comes along who's hungrier than him and pretty much takes everything from him. Um, and then he had to rediscover that hunger again by pushing himself to a whole new level. <laughs> the thing about uh, human potential is unlimited. It's based on what you put up here, mentally. If you put in your head that you can only achieve a certain level, then that's the only, a level, you're, that's the only level you're going to achieve, ever. But if you push, if you keep pushing your standards, put, keep pushing that level higher and higher every day, there's no limit to where you can where there's no limit to where you can go to. Uh, so the human potential is unlimited, and for it to be unlimited, you have to be hungry. The difference between being good and being great is hunger. The guy that's trying to be great is always proving himself day in, day out to himself. He doesn't have anybody tell him, you know, to prove himself. He does he does that to himself. The guy that's good, all right, he's com he's content on being good right now. So, he's not necessarily going to be hungry, okay? Some days he'll be, some days he won't, but the guy that's trying to be great is always going to be hungry. Every time you see him, it's like he's killing himself every time. Why? Because he's proving himself day in, day out. Proving yourself means being hungry. That's all that means. Um, you know, doing your work, not letting mind games fuck with you. You know, when you're hungry, I get it. There's all, sometimes you have to sometimes control that hunger because sometimes it pushes you, you know, sometimes you have to, um, I wouldn't say control it, but uh, be mindful of what, it's, of what it does, um, you know, as far as smart training wise, but that's a whole different, that's a whole different topic. Uh, but like I said, a lot of lifters today, uh, they've lost what it means to be hungry. Because they have, because you got so many organizations, you got so many world champions. And I think it was something that me and Chad Ike talked about years ago. And Chad Ike, I would say, any power I have the utmost respect for because he basically understands what hunger is. And when WPO was in existence, he wanted to compete with the best in the world all at once. He didn't want to have to go from one organization to another. He wanted all the best in the world to be there so he can face them all and see what he can do. And I respect him for that because, you know, not many powerlifters today have that mentality that he has. Um, I'll give another example. Oh, excuse me. My traps are still sore. Thank you, Wendell. Um, uh, another guy that uh, recently just uh, uh, started talking to, Chuck Carter, he had been out of competition for a while. Then out of nowhere, you know, 15 years comes out, you know, you know, you know, does very well at the IPV North Americans. You know, uh, in saying those, t you know, two scenarios, you know, both these guys wanted to go to a higher level every time. They didn't want to stay at the same level. When you get to that level, then the question should be, okay, let's go to the next one. You get to that level, okay, let's go to the next one. There's always another level for you to reach. There's never the same level again. And there are people that I know personally that are content with being at the same level. They're content with being where they are. As that complacency sets in, that hunger's gonna go away, okay? Then, out of nowhere, you're gonna have someone come out of here and just completely fuck up your world, and I do mean fuck it up, okay? And I've had that happen to me. Uh, several years ago, 2006, it was an APF Alabama meet. Uh, I thought I was doing okay on the bench press. <laughs> Literally, I thought I was doing okay. Then I met this absolute monster out of nowhere. He was like my height, 5'11". And granted, I was 2... 270, 275 at the time. Um, and this guy was about my weight. But the fact was, he was huge. I mean, holy crap, I couldn't believe it. And I was curious. Uh, I remember Dave Tate saying that he can always gauge his competition by, by their upper backs. Uh, well, this guy's upper back was showing through a freaking 2XL shirt. And I knew that, okay, this guy's probably going to be a badass bencher, and I was correct. I mean, he was sitting there warming up a 585 raw like it was nothing for a double, and it was just, wow. 
But again, that fucked up my work right there. Uh, I started picking his brain, but the same thing, that's an example, you know. I didn't, I wasn't complacent, I was kind of getting there, but seeing that guy, wow. I mean, if I could talk to him today, I would. And uh, But yeah, this guy really just fucked up my world, and I just couldn't believe it. I mean, I thought that there wasn't a nerd level until you saw what the next level looks like, and then you realize, damn, that's where I want to be. That's the next level I want to be at. Um, so... Keep that hunger alive by proving yourself day in and day out. Whatever you did today, once midnight strikes, bam, it's done. Once you wake up the next morning, bam, it's done. You move on to the next day. You know, you move close every day. And I think the ultimate warrior said it. He says, it's not uh, it's not just another day. It's the next day. The two words, it's not another day. It's the next day. Okay. It's not another session. It's the next session. Okay? That means what you, whatever you did in your last session, you're just going to step it up the next session. Keep getting up there further and further. Um, that's why I talk about hunger so much. And people sit there and think, oh, what the hell is he talking about? Hunger, or you know, whatever. For people who joke about it, don't fucking understand it. That's just plain and simple. They're hanging on to a title or status or t- uh, or whatever but again proving yourself I mean you win a show good Monday you need to start coming up with a plan to get to the next level that's, that's plain and simple okay so what you're Mr. whatever doesn't matter because come Monday morning you go into that gym that, that shit doesn't matter it means now you need to step your fucking game up okay that means you need to raise your expectations that means you need to get hungry you need to prove yourself okay Prove what you know. Prove to yourself that you're not a fucking fluke. Prove it to yourself day in, day out. Okay. Uh, that also means you know don't, put, don't, don't never mind the mind games. Um, so that's what being hungry is about. Being hungry is always proving yourself. That's that's what it is. Um, I do it day in, day out. I get pissed off whenever I have a shitty session because I pull up from below my standards. Okay. That's how that's how I should be. Be hungry. How do you how do you be hungry? Prove yourself day in, day out, regardless of whatever status you're at. Unless you're Mr. Olympia, World Strongest Man, or World Record Powerlifting Starter, you haven't done shit. Bam. Or rather, as Josh would say, boom. Okay. Uh, just want to throw a shout out to uh, William Swole Ferguson. This is his clothing line. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll, pre, I'll try to I'll try to tag him in it. Try to tag his page in it. Um, great clothing line. Great guy. He's my brother. I support him 100% on what he does. Awesome, awesome shit. Okay. Uh, another shout out here. Give me one second. Is and I've kind of tainted this a little bit, but it's USB Labs. Okay. Been sponsored by them since 2008. And as you can see here on, well, hold on, that side kind of faded. This is a better side. You see what it says. If you know me well enough, you know what those two goals actually mean. So don't ask what those two mean unless you know me pretty damn well, okay? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, uh, two great companies. Also, Anderson Powerlifting. Uh, I've been using his wraps, his knee wraps are awesome shit. Check out his Facebook page. Uh, other than that, uh, let me know what you guys think. Also, uh, message me. I'm trying to come up with a design for the uh, for a freak of nature design. Um, if you have any ideas, shoot them to me on message on Facebook. Hit me up on the wall. Other than that, put up, head down.